Me a too. young Russian media mogul is following in the footsteps of James Cameron by launching his own avatar project. And while he doesn't plan on exploring new planets, he does hope to make human brains immortal by transplanting them into robots. Prime Time's Tatiana Rublev talked to the man himself, Dmitry Itzkov, to try and separate science fact from fiction. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Let's start with one of your most ambitious projects, transplanting a human brain into an artificial body. How far have you gone already and how do you plan to do this? So far we are collecting ideas from scientists. There haven't been any attempts to transplant human brains, but we already know that it is possible to create an autonomous system of brain nutrition, preserve nerve connections so that the brain doesn't degrade or die, and hence it is possible to transplant a human head onto an artificial body. The US scientist Robert White has shown in his experiments with chimps that a monkey's brain can be taken out of the skull and plugged into a system that will keep it alive for a long time. How can these avatars be used? Our main goal is to preserve personality and prolong life. Human life, on average, lasts 80 years, and that's the most optimistic estimate. Scientists say that if it weren't for certain diseases and degradation of the cardiovascular system, our brains could live for two or maybe even 300 years. Will the planet manage? Of course, since this avatar will live according to completely different principles, it won't need food or probably even a home. Would you like to prolong your own life in this way? I'll do it as soon as I get the chance. However, my system of values also has a spiritual side, and that's more important than an additional hundred years of life. So will this resemble James Cameron's avatar? Relax and let your mind go blank. It shouldn't be hard for you. Everything you see in the film resembles our project Avatar A, except that we want to create an android, not a biological body. I think it will become available to people in just 10 years, in exactly the same form as they can see in the film. Do you think society is ready for such changes? Life itself will make humans prepare for these changes. Our civilization is experiencing growing pressure in the form of natural and technological disasters, and we're becoming hostages of the technologies we've created. We experience more economic crises, and there are growing disagreements between different races and religions. Does this mean we will see the creation of a new kind of society? Society will change radically, mostly because humans will move on to the next step of evolution. I think the society will have two priorities, scientific progress and spiritual self-improvement. This will help mankind to enter open space and defeat diseases and death. What are your next steps going to be? I'm in the process of creating a fund in the US which we'll be looking for in developing the technologies necessary for this project. We will patent them and make them affordable so that scientists can use them. The right technologies have been being developed in the West for a long time now and Russia needs to realize their importance fast or we could be left without valuable specialists. Thank you very much and good luck.